a saying that's in, that, that goes like this. You don't pick the pumpkin, the pumpkin picks you. I'm the Assistant Director of Parks and Recreation for the Louisville Metro Parks and Recreation Department. Awesome. Welcome to the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular Thank 2013. You. Now tell me this, All right. how long does it normally take them to carve one pumpkin? Alright, now are you talking about one of the faced pumpkins that you're looking at back mm -hmm. here? Or are you talking about one of the pieces of arts, the intricates? Both of them. All right. The face pumpkins, once we started to find out that people needed a little bit of a blueprint, uh -huh. Maddie and Travis uh, and a couple of the people from New England just started drawing faces. I mean, they could hold a conversation with you just drawing on pumpkins. Wow. And that gave people, even myself, got to carve some pumpkins because I was forced into action when the weather was bad. But they, they don't take too long at all. But mm -hmm. the, the intricates, yeah. you know, from trying to find the, the right pumpkin, they can be anywhere if you have someone as experienced as Travis for a couple hours mm -hmm. up to 10 or 12 hours wow. for some of the newer artists that are really some of the really intricate design ones like the Falls of the Cumberland, some of the uh, scenes in Italy. Wow. You know, there's, some, there's some ones that take a, quite a bit of time. You know, you first you have to draw it, then you start using the markers, mm -hmm. then you have to take the alcohol, you dilute it, mm -hmm. you're getting your shades, mm -hmm. you're getting it right, then you start the carving, and then once you once you gut it, the clock starts ticking on that vegetable. Wow. Now, what all other states have ever done this? Because I believe this is the first time it's done this here, right? This is the right? first time it's ever been done outside of New England. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is some big stuff. So wow. For five years, uh, Jim Wood. Uh huh. Uh, if it wasn't for Jim Wood, we wouldn't be here tonight. Okay. Uh, we might be in Airport Park, but it wouldn't be for the Jack O' Lantern Spectacular. Mm hmm. Passion for Pumpkins, folks, which uh, you, you got to meet a couple of them. Obviously, they're appropriately named. Mm -hmm. But uh, this, this has been about. Uh, you know, it's been about 12 or 13 years up at the Providence Zoo. Mm -hmm. It's been in Connecticut. It's been in Boston. It's been all over. It's been all over the New England area. That is awesome. Here's How long is the path? The path is about a third of a mile. It, uh -huh. is, it is through a wooded, beautiful Iroquois Park. Mm -hmm. Very scenic. It's there's a little challenge to it. There's a little mm -hmm. bit of hill. Uh, one of the things I was going to state though, this show started 25 years ago as a 200 pumpkin show as a fundraiser for Travis's and Polly's High School. You kidding me? I'm not kidding. Their father, oh Johnny, uh, had taken the family up to Vermont uh -huh. to this uh, Halloween pumpkin event somewhere mm -hmm. up in Vermont and said, well, we're going to carve pumpkins. They're a uh, very talented family, obviously. Yes. Well, I tell you, I really enjoyed uh, walking through the path. This. Um, this was a very great learning experience for me, but it's also um, a way for me to avoid candy <laughs> and eating the candy. And so well, for all of those, we, we, we yeah. Have, we have sold this all along as this is not a Halloween event. This is not about Halloween. Okay. This is about art. Mm -hmm. It's about education. Yes. It's about music. It's about appreciation of nature. And you know, it's not really the idea of uh, trick or treat. Yeah. You know, this is uh, you're being treated. Yes. If, if you if you if so so look at it that way. Yes. You know, there's 22 intricate scenes that go throughout, and it's amazing as you walk through how the music just blends. It goes right with it. It's almost seamless mm -hmm. when you leave one area and go to the next. Yes. Uh, so around the world theme was a great theme for this year. I loved it. We're going to make it bigger and better next year. Okay. Because our mayor says, you know, you got to make it bigger and you got to make it better. I don't know how you could do that because th this was awesome. Well, we're was already starting to talk about what the theme is going to be for next year, what the sets are going to look like. Secret? Uh, secrets? Uh, there may be some snow oh, that comes down next okay, year. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, during October, okay. November. 
And it's not the can that we had to plow the streets or call school off. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're probably going to go up higher in the trees. Okay. And deeper in the woods. Okay. So, okay. But, but it's still going to be around this time no, of the year. It'll, yes. It'll still be this time of year. Okay. Next year's theme will be the history of the world.